Now, if you're a beginner and you've bought some kind of camera, you know, and you just might think, oh, well, you know what? Um, I have my first camera and I'm doing Luke's course and I'm going to do what he says. So let's just take my camera and the lens it comes with. Okay, good. And basically you end up with a shot in this natural light that looks pretty much like the phone because it's not your camera. It's your light. Let me show you even more. Okay, good. Oh, I went down and spent $10,000 on my auntie's uncle on this camera. So let's just put the same settings into this camera. 125th, F3.5, ISO 1600. Same settings as that. And let's take the same shot here. And uh, that's even more overexposed. Let me just adjust this setting. I'm going to take it down to F5 on the aperture. Good. So you take that shot. I mean, like you compare the three things, the phone, the cheap camera, the expensive camera, it's the same image. Doesn't that tell you something interesting? It's not your equipment. It's the light. Isn't that interesting? So good. So how do we take a good photo? and good interesting photo. You've seen what this looks like so far. It looks like it was obviously taken in a living room. Something blah, 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 blah. But now let's up the f levels to maximum. So I turn on my little flashy thing, the connector. Let's take a shot. Mother look at that. Look at that. And all we did was change the light, not the camera. And to prove my point further, I'm gonna take this little flash thing off. I'm gonna put it on the camera. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my settings, put the same settings into this little camera as is on my big, apparently expensive and professional camera. Let's take a shot. Let's see what we got. It looks cool, because it's not about your equipment. Suck a dick. 